Praxis Prepper. Hey y'all, this is Praxis Prepper, and in this video I wanted to give you guys an update on what's been going on for me this week. Uh, it's been our moving week. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that this has been a plan that's been in the works for a while to leave my old awesome homestead and come to some place new. And this is the place that we are, are settling into. Uh, I, I would have put it in the background behind me, but the light just wouldn't have agreed with that. So here's a picture of the place we're moving into. As you can see, you know, it's a nice place. It's in a nice area and everything like that. I had fairly aggressive, I, well, I was told they were really aggressive uh, criteria for what I was looking for. I didn't think they were that aggressive. I thought it was some pretty simple stuff. Uh, what I was looking for in a place was, one, some place that was reasonably proximal to my build site. This is not going to be our permanent place. We're moving into this place now so that I'm close to a place where we're going to be building our actual second homestead. Uh, as things worked out, this is really close. It's like 10 minutes away. You know, I would have been okay with like a half an hour or something like that. But this worked out. We're about 10 minutes from the work site, so I think that's really great because uh, it's just easy for me to commute to it. Uh, two, I wanted a place, and these are like the uh, you know regular sort of... Um, uh, you know, real estate things. Uh, I wanted to have a place that didn't have toxic water. You know, a place that had a nice, clean, well water, no, you know, no contaminants, no radon or anything like that in it. Uh, you know, chlorine bleach is not my thing. So I wanted nice, clean water for my family, nice, clean air for my family, and a place that's not right next to a highway or something like that. Uh, and aside from that, the only other thing that I wanted was a place that just didn't have lead paint. It wasn't like some old house with, you know, chipping lead paint around the doorways and everything like that. Uh, and Apparently those are really difficult criteria because there was only one place on a re really rather terrible dirt road that, <laughs> that leads to it here. Um, but uh, you know, we found it and this is going to work out pretty well for us. But that said, it's really tough for me to move into this place and I'm going to share with you why that is. And as I do that, I'm going to run a risk of sounding kind of crass and unappreciative and I don't mean it that way, but it is something I'm feeling and I want to share it with you. Now, I know there are plenty of people in this world that don't have homes at all and are in plenty worse situations than I am. So what I'm about to share with you again is going to sound like me, you know, griping and not appreciating what I have, but again, it's something I'm feeling and I wanted to share with you guys. It hurts moving into this place because I'm leaving a place that was awesome. Uh, I built it myself and it was custom made to, you know, weather all the kind of ups and downs that, you know, are what make us preppers. Storms and, you know, power outages, all that kind of stuff. Um, that place really had it happening. You know, the power goes out, you know, it's fine. You get, you, your well keeps pumping, you know, you have backup power for the refrigerator. I could heat my house with, uh, uh, with my wood stove, no problem. This place doesn't have any of that kind of stuff. This place is nice, but it's like an average American home. If, if you probably notice it has solar panels on the roof, but those are strictly grid tied. If the, if the grid goes down, if there's a power outage, everything in the house shuts off here. Uh, it is, you know, unless I'm going to get out with wire shears and start like actually cutting through wires and trying to, you know, rewire things. The way this thing, this place is set up as I bought it, is just an average American home that happens to have solar panels on the roof of it. And that's really difficult for someone who has spent the last decade and a half working towards having a really sustainable, really, uh, you know, bulletproof house for a lot of things. And I mentioned sustainability. This place run, uh, runs on oil you know, that's pumped out of the ground and all these war zones all over the world. That has not been an industry that I have really supported at all other than like, you know, I buy plastic and, you know, plastic is made out of oil or, uh, you know, I drive my car and things like that. But in terms of, you know, my house, my house has always been kind of re removed from like that whole oil market and everything. And yeah, you can leave all kinds of comments about like, oh, this product has oil. And, you know, I understand that, and, you know, every time something gets delivered, it uses that. But you understand what I'm saying is that I'm actually having oil pumped into this house in order to, to heat it and, it and the windows are not really all that great you know it, it just even it's been warm but it, it's like it's even kind of cold in this house in the middle of the summer in the morning so it's um it's an average american not really all that well thought out house um again i'm glad to have it and it's super proximal to the awesome place that we're going to build but it's rough moving from some place that was just really you know you built it yourself it really worked for you into some place like this and the reason i mention that is because while my focus, as soon as we kind of get settled in here, is really to start working on our other build site, uh, there are some things about this place that are just so batshit crazy that I, I, I got to work on them. Because I'm probably going to be in here about a year, a year and a half, or something like that. And there, are, there is a lot of low-hanging fruit. Uh, and I want to share with you guys that process because 
I think that it is probably very, um, it's very uh, applicable to a lot of people because my situation is I have a really not that functional house, which describes a lot of people's homes. And I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. I don't want to spend a lot of money on this. I want to do just some things that are like a big bang for their buck. Uh, you know, get some good return on it, but really I want to be focusing my effort on the other place. So what I'm going to be doing is taking you on the journey through this house and what I'm going to be doing to this place in order to just improve it slightly, just get it slightly better so that it can weather storms and, you know, not be pissing through energy as much and all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in some, you know, very simple, low-tech ways, low-cost ways of making your house better, I'm going to be talking about a lot of that stuff because I'm going to be doing a lot of those things to try to make this place better. So that's what you're going to be seeing in addition to a lot of other things. Uh, I'm still kind of back and forth between the other place. You may see some videos from there. You may see some videos from here. Uh, but that, that's, uh, that's what's going to be going on here. And then uh, also kind of in tandem with all that and Alien Invasion is, keep, is continuing. Uh, we're, I'm going to be taking you guys in on, you know, from the ground up. It's just forest over there right now. From the ground up, building a awesome yeah, I mean, this is as awesome as I'm able to do it at this point with, you know, what's between these two ears here. Um, I didn't point my ears. My ears are down here. Uh, but uh, this is, you know, it's, I'm going to be doing the best version of a homestead that I am possibly capable of, it, of at this point, And I'm going to be taking you guys along on that journey too. So quick and easy, making things better and awesome stuff, you know, starting from the ground up, you know, when you can kind of make all those decisions, uh, you know, from the starting point. That's what you're going to be seeing over the next year, year and a half, and it all starts right here. Uh, but the first thing I put in was just solar cookers. You know, this place just pissed through energy, and I'm going to try to... They, they have like a $200 electric bill here, and the only thing that they run with electricity here is their lights and their washing machine. You know, the motor and the washing machine. Horrible. There is a lot of low-hanging fruit in here. We're going to, we're going to explore it together. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys are looking forward to finding out how to take some place that's severely mediocre and making it slightly better. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.